Okay, folks, this is going to be the last main key level video, the daily high and low, um, possibly the most important, and they're treated slightly differently in terms of confirmation. Uh, I want to direct your attention to the 12th of May 2022, where we can see the daily low sets itself at 21.65, and the rest of the day hovers above. So I'll just show this. Okay. So we can see the daily low is set at um, 21.65, as we mentioned. The day plays out. We generate a few equal lows. So during our morning routine, Daily highs and lows, as well as weekly highs and lows, are marked up like any other key level and seen as key uh, key liquidity targets. This particular example is equal lows developing. I'm going to call these secondary key levels for the purposes of the Cable Traders course. As they're still important, uh, we can get good trades of these, but to be honest, this is not my methodology mainly, although it is still totally valid. Uh, so this is also the New York low, so it counts as a key level. Daily open. We're getting it to the Frankfurt high now. Equal highs. Daily open is tapped. London high is set. And now I want to direct your attention to this daily low, which is going to be our main area of interest. So you can see the market is being moved down to the, towards liquidity. Another equal low is set. This is now teeming with liquidity. And there's also a massive amount of um, stops down here and there. You can see it's it's breached. So this is done very deliberately. And when we look at the futures footprint, this has a very specific look at uh, these candles. And we can almost enter immediately if we see what we're looking for in terms of high volume, high delta. So for the purposes of this example, without the footprint in front of us, uh, we're going to enter a trade. Usual three fifth stop loss, and always we're deciding our target before we uh, execute. So, because we're trying to catch the main intraday swing. Um, the London open high is a reasonable target um, that would give you 68 pips and a risk to reward of 20. So you should not need any more than that. On this particular day, I actually targeted the round number 2250 because there was a good short term high here. Um, I thought price was likely to go up there for various reasons. One other important thing is we had a trading level, which was an FVG on H4 from quite a while ago, I think 2020. So we can just let this play out, see what happens and see if we get to our target. Um, okay. And there you go, that's a risk to reward uh, ratio 25 uh, to one. So that's a significant trade. Um, if you do one of those in a week, 
Um, that's my personal target. I target 25 bar per week. So if you can catch these trades on a regular basis, um, I will show you how to do this. Um, it's not going to be a total cakewalk. It's going to be quite difficult. But if you follow the steps that I set out, uh, you will get there in no time. So thank you for listening.